I built a retaining wall at the back over there. Um, that there is 38 foot. It's about two to two and a half foot high. I've used 16 and 12 by eight by two inches. All the posts have been cemented in, well, concreted in. So in this section, I've tried to do things differently. I've put um, the posts and the board going across the top. I've screwed them in so they're flush. The posts are flush with that top board. I dug the holes out to where they're supposed to go, where the concrete's supposed to go in the post. And I attached the top board going across to the already finished retaining wall. So all I have to do now with that yellow level there is basically get that top board perfectly level. Um, it's not difficult. Um, you can fill it up with um, drainage rock and move it backwards and forwards until you find your level. And then when you do, I put in a board sitting on top of a paver to keep it flat and just screwed into that board. And then all I have to do now is just fill it with drainage rock and concrete. These in. Oh, by the way, if you can get yourself um, a post mix, the powder stuff and just water it in, get it. But my Home Depot and Lowe's didn't have to, they didn't do it. So uh, I have to mix this shit by hand. So both posts are now concreted in. Tomorrow I just, uh, when they're dry, I'll uh, put the, the rest of the battens back in and then that section will be finished. Right, so the, I've got the second section in. Now what I was talking about is, when, if you come round here at the post, you'll see that I have to go halfway. And that's because this part here, this part here, still needs a timber to go across. So you need something to hold on to. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly concrete that in. Now there is a couple of things I wanna do. And I do it all the time. First I get a bucket of water and I just pour it in the hole. And uh, what it does is it washes off all the dirt off the stone, which creates a better adhesion, I guess, for the concrete. Um, I always do that. And it stops the concrete from drying out quicker. So. While that's happening, I'm gonna knock up my concrete. Is a, I fill a bit of concrete up and tamp it down. And then I can just check the level again. And we're good. So let's chuck some more concrete in. I'm using uh, 80 pound bags and on this one it only takes about a bag if you fill it up with enough stone, maybe a bag and a half. Um, so that's another part of my wall that's pretty much done. Um, I've just got to put that middle post in over there and um, Put battens in like a cross but uh, I'm gonna finish off the whole wall first walls almost finished I've got all the tops in I've just got one more over there to do one more post with the top and then I've got to fill all the panels so hopefully today or tomorrow at the latest all the wood will be in place the walls in um, all I've got to do now is put some uh, landscape fabric at the back, put about six inches of stone down, like drainage rock, put my pipe down, which you see over there, and I also ordered some other stuff, so it should come in tomorrow. Lay it all the way down to the end and then fill it up with, uh, on top of the drainage pipe, fill it up with rock and then just cover it over. And then uh, that's pretty much complete, except for putting the capping on around the top. So drainage pipes in, got the rock sitting on the top. 
I've just got to cover this part here with um, landscape fabric, throw soil over the top, well soil, it's sand, it's dirt, this is Florida, it's crap, and put the cap on the top and we're, we're in business, we're done. I'm on the last bit really, um, what I'm doing is I'm putting the caps on the top, just using a, a two inch piece of cut off, a bit of scrap, but I want a little bit of overhang this way. So I put it nice and tight against that one. Just put your wood under there, score it in. Then I'm just going to go to the chop saw, cut it off, and then uh, that'd be good to go. Just got to be screwed in. Every cut that I've made, I've put this Thompson's water wood protector or Thompson's wood protector on. Um, I don't know if it's the right stuff. But, uh, it's an oil base, it's absorbing. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these three inch three and one eighth screws they're deck screws they're number tens and uh, I'm going to pre-drill a hole much smaller than the diameter of this because I don't want splitting now the screws I've been using on the other ones were under two inches I think they're about an inch and three quarter but they were the, the, the type that prevents splitting on the wood these are completely different and uh, I don't want to sink these into the wood because if I sink these into the wood then it's going to leave a little indent for where the water can just sit and rot. So that's what I'm going to do anyway. So I'm going to call this project pretty much done. I've just got to put a bit of landscape fabric over that rock and put some dirt over the top. So apart from that, it is done. Um, I think it's turned out pretty well. Um, it's been a hell of a lot of hard work and I'm going to say about two months, maybe November, December, January. Yeah, probably three months of really hard work every day I had off, I was just digging and getting rid of the dirt. But I'm actually quite happy the way it's turned out. I hope you like it. I hope I've helped you, um, or should I say, I hope I've inspired you to do your own. And um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah.